Uh, thank you, Senator, for, for your comments. They have a lot of the same issues in my district. Um, and affordability is key, but it's expensive to build. And those entities that are trying to build affordable housing, if we could, in fact, invest uh, from an infrastructure bank and be able to build more affordable housing would make a big difference. Um, you know, I have been uh, uh, focused on several issues in, in these meetings that are uh, issues in my district, but they're also issues everywhere. Um, uh, and that is uh, increase in flooding, for example. Um, that is a big issue. There's a hundred million dollar study, a groundwater study going on now in New York City um, because we have we have just 30 miles of coastline in Brooklyn alone. And um, we have terrible water table issues. And we have less and less um, uh, capacity in our sewer system. And so one of the things, if you've seen some of those uh, pictures online last summer, uh, one of the, the, the uh, flooding uh, locations where within an hour it was up to the, the windows of cars is in my district. And uh, it's a, an area that is just low lying and fills up very, very quickly. Um, so we really need to look at those things, but those are massive projects, very expensive, and there isn't enough money to go around. I also have a major interstate uh, highway that's cantilevered off the cliff in Brooklyn Heights uh, that is the only structure of its kind in the country. Very complicated. There's no room there. And to build what we need to do to, to bypass that, to provide... Um, uh, you know, quality uh, uh, health uh, for everybody and really reduce those uh, uh, those uh, vehicle miles traveled um, and the particulate matter, we just don't have that kind of money. Uh, it doesn't exist in the bipartisan infrastructure law. Um, it's not going to be available in a couple of years. So the time is right to do this National Infrastructure Bank, which is... Um, has been used successfully. And I know that some of the really big people in New York that really saved New York City years ago, uh, Dick Ravitch, who, who passed away a couple of years ago, and um, Felix Rowetton, were big fans of a national infrastructure bank. And if those guys were fans of a national infrastructure bank, I feel very confident that it's a, the right way to go. Um, and it clearly, the need uh, is, uh, is greater and greater uh, every year. So. Um, those are among the sort of very real, uh, you know, issues in my district. And I know colleagues of mine in government uh, throughout the country are experiencing similar types of, of problems. Um, and we can't do anything about it. We don't have the resources available to do that um, at the state level and certainly not enough at the federal level as if they could agree on anything right now. Um, but that's been a problem for years. Um, and uh, hopefully that will be less of a problem going forward. Uh, in my mind, but it's really protracted issue in, in Washington. And so without that kind of funding, um, we're not going to get anywhere and our, our mm -hmm. uh, citizens will still uh, be, be suffering more and more and more. Um, and we'll be able to do less and less and less to improve their, their, uh, their lives. So that's why I'm a big fan and why I keep telling everybody I know about the National Infrastructure Bank. And um, I encourage everybody else to do the same. So thanks.